to start with Gerard in the single leg right here, and he's got great head position. Okay, he's never going to take a shot with his head into the mat. So, first things first. The first thing I always try to do, and I said this before when I was teaching the high crotches, I always try to get this head to the inside. You know, very simple. I'm always going to drop this hand down to this wizard right here. I'll grab in this armpit, or I'll just grab, you know, over the arm. But this is going to buy me time before I get jumped on my head before he drives me across and finishes. Okay? So he takes the shot. You know, I'm trying to sprawl. He's too, he's too strong. Real simple. I club, right? I club. Here, actually, rewind. Start with the head to the outside. Let's say he's, he's beating us here, okay? First things first. I never want to hang my arm up on this guy's head. Like I said before, if he's got his head on the outside, he's in the best position to score, okay? We got a real good, good way for you guys to defend a high crotch, or this guy has his head on the outside. So the first thing you want to do is, you have to stop his momentum, or he's just going to run right through you and slam you on your head. So, I tell my guys this, if you get to the high crotch, the first thing you just do is you sit in the chair. Sit your butt back right here and sit in this chair. Okay, you're not sprawling. It's not, I don't really, I'm not a big advocate of a, a sprawl here because when you get your toes in the mat, that's when I can really get underneath you and lift you. So, he shoots, boom. He's deep on a high crotch, he's in great position. I block his elbow here, I block his elbow, and I sit in the chair right here. Now. My goal is to get Gerard's head into the inside, okay? So I'm gonna be patient and I'm gonna, I'm gonna use his momentum to help me guide the head to the inside. So we're wrestling here, he starts driving, boom. I use his momentum to pull his head in. And, and what I do is, I block, I sit in the chair, I kind of press into him. As he's pressing back, this hand right here, okay, my inside hand is gonna guide his head to the inside. So, I gotta break this down in steps because it's a little bit confusing. So step one, we'll just start from a high crotch standing straight up. Let's say he shoots on us. Step one is I block the elbow and sit in the chair. Block the elbow, sit in the chair. Okay, this is gonna bind me some time so I don't get blown 10 feet in the air. The second step is I'm gonna use this momentum and guide his head into this hand and stuff it down. So I'm pressing into him, he drives, I guide his head, Stuff it to the inside, and this hand comes to the outside, the belly loop. Okay? So, step one, chair, block. Step two, he's driving, switch, post, belly wizard. Now, he's going to drive up to his feet here. He drives up to his feet, my foot comes off the mat. Okay? My foot comes off the mat. Try to think of this in your head when you're trying to defend this. Three things that you want to do, and I guarantee you, what you, what you would probably do right now, and what I would do before I learned this, is I would try to sprawl here and stuff the head, and sprawl here and stuff the head, and you know, he, if he's good, he'll get underneath you, okay? Yes. Especially Gerard, he'll get underneath you there, or he'll take you back to the side. I want to put the most pressure I can on him, and make this hard, you know? I look forward to the guy shooting on me now, because I think I can just do an advantage to get him tired if you have a lot of pressure. Sit in the chair, block, he drives. Pass the head, post. He drives up to his feet, foot comes off the mat. Okay? Now, what you gotta do is you gotta get this knee back here. I get this knee back and I try to get my heel to my butt. So I get I push my knee back, and as he's driving in, I hop in a circle. Hop in a circle. Hop in a circle. Until I get my knees to the mat. It's a lot of pressure. He'll tell you, I get a lot heavier once I get my knee back. Okay? So again. Here, block, chair, he's driving, momentum, stuff. Foot comes off the mat right away. Foot comes off the mat, knee comes back, knee comes back, until I get to here. Now, there's a couple things you can do. The first basic way, what I like to do is, I'll turn my outside hip down, okay? So I'll try to go far ankle here. He's not gonna let go here. And what you don't want to do is, you don't want to put your toes in the mat, like we said before. Okay, because if I put my toes in the mat, I'm going to give him a chance to get underneath me. So, for starters, you know, keep your shoelaces down, keep your knees back. Knees back. Okay? Keep your belly wizard here, too, so you don't get tipped. So, first way, I'll grab the far angle. I'm going to look back and turn my outside hip. 
This is my free hip. I turn it down here. Okay. I turn it down. I slide this down to the ball. Ball tip of his elbow right here. And I'm just going to pull this up. And I'm going to circle my inside hip is down. Remember, then circle it back here. And then release. Here. So, first way, simple. Right here. You're going to turn your outside hip down. Look back at the lock. Turn your outside hip down. Look back at his lock. Okay? Keep the outside hip down. Grabbing the tip of his elbow. Lifting it up. And now be careful. You don't want to blow someone's shoulder out right now. If you do it right, it hurts pretty bad. Here. Keep that hip down. You won't be able to break his lock. Circle back. Circle, circle, circle to the angle. Okay? Now, uh, David Taylor did this uh, to Kyle David, just about everybody in college. This is one of his best moves. So a guy's in on a single leg, and you know, he'll, he'll let you get deep on his leg, okay? So right here, this is hard. I, I can't break his lock. You know, I'm almost dead to right. The only thing I can do is avoid him coming underneath me. So let's say that you've done a good job of stuffing the head, you got him all the way down, but he's so deep underneath you, and you're not going to be able to break his lock. So what you want to do is, and David's very good at this, he sets up cradles from here. You take a deep step here, okay? I take a big step here, and this arm is going to shoot through here. Okay, this arm shoots through here, and this one's going to come through, and I'm using the cradle lock here. So I'm sprawling, I'm sprawling, I can't break his lock, that's fine. I cover his head, close it off, elbow goes deep, elbow deep, lock. Okay, now, once I lock it, I'm going to squeeze this tight. I almost want to squeeze his knee into his chest. Okay, and I show it how to finish it this way, because it's a little bit easier. What David will do is he'll try to set up a cradle from here. Yeah, okay, he'll come here and circle into a cradle, but you know, let's try to break his lock first. So we're here, we're stuffing the head, close it off, elbow deep, lock. Squeezing it tight, head comes to the side. As soon as I roll through, notice I'll pop my hips up. So I roll through, release. That'll break his lock. Now, once you break his lock, I like to turn my hip down. So I'll, again, like I just did before, I look back, turn this hip down, and circle this way. Don't circle around, but pop right back up to his knees and grab your leg. So if he's deep, you do a good job of stuffing the head, you got your foot off the mat, knees back, you're here. I can't break his lock here. I can already feel it's too tight. So I'm going to go elbow deep. I'm going to go close this off, close it off, punch this through. Lock my hands. Head to the side, roll. As soon as he hits, I pop up. Now you can go, you can turn this hip down, but you're gonna have to turn one of your hips down so you can't secure your leg. So, rewind them back to the middle. My goal is to get his head to the inside. Yeah. So here, you're gonna club his head inside, then you can just go right to clubbing it, posting it, wizard. Pull comes off the mat. He's driving, get your knee back. Now this is, this is such a small step right here. Just getting this knee back here and keeping it off the mat goes from you know semi-good pressure to now he's carrying all my weight. Feels heavier, right? Yeah. Okay? Keep this foot off the mat. Hop in a circle until you can get to the mat. Now once you're here, you can go elbow deep, tuck and roll, or you can look back at it, turn your hip down, break his lock. Okay? And then the last thing, uh, I, I don't know why I've been showing this, but this, this is kind of tricky. I can do it, and if you practice it enough, you probably can get pretty good at it. You're going to stop here, and, and you don't let go of it. So you're here. As soon as you're coming across, you get your elbow in there. See that? Now, I can try to circle through the middle. It's a little bit trickier, but it does work. Alright, go try that. One, two, three.